Hey folks, it's John McQuills, and we have yet another wonderful Bannerlord series that I've just started up because it took me a few days to kind of work out the details, find some mods that I've stuck with, and I wanted to go with, as I mentioned last time, a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, apologies, wow. I wanted to go with one that would be a little bit more fast-paced, not so much build-up, but more, uh, we can get into it real fast, get into the nice wars. And, uh, I don't know if you folks can tell, but, um, the map looks a little bit different. There's a lot more cities on the map now. Every faction that isn't an Empire faction has two brand new cities. The Vlandians have a Polydur and Lothanes. I don't know if that's pronounced really right. The Batanians have Kar El Eglin, Elgin, and they also have Luxovec. Uh, the Sturgians have Terzmak or Terzimak and Kasmur Kolg. I'm probably butchering these. The Asari have Shamika. Uh, and Zalhak, I, I'm, I'm not even gonna. They, the Kuzets have these two, and all of the Imperial cities also have an additional city as well. So the uh, the Western Empire has Ustasios, the Northern Empire has uh, Starechius, and the Southern Empire has Heraclonus. But there's also four brand new cities, and technically three brand new little factions with this mod that I have. And it just really expands the amount of stuff that's going on in the map. This whole area, which has kind of always been down here, I always wondered why this area wasn't accessible and wasn't used, because I just feel like it should have been. But now that there is, we actually have... This This right here is a whole faction, a brand new faction. These people here were their own, and these people were also, I think, separate as well. But I actually gave this to myself um, with the console commands because we have a wonderful little theme, and this is the God King campaign. Essentially, if you take a look at our character here, we're gonna see uh, all these skills are maxed out from those who are, uh, if you remember watching the uh, other, I'm just gonna do this real quick, the other campaigns, the uh, the other campaign, it was, um, it was pretty uh, slow, it was pretty grindy, we didn't feel like we were making a whole lot of progress at one point, but you know what? That's not going to worry about. So essentially, there is a challenge for this. Now, that seems pretty overpowered. Having all this stuff, especially with our two-handed, we're going to be one-shotting people. But we can't recruit any other people into our faction, into our kingdom. We have to entirely rely on our own clan. So whether it's actual companions or whether it's our family members, we can have a lot of parties. And this number is only going to go up as we take more and more cities. But uh, we got to get ourselves some troops, and we got to get down to Carrington there to protect it. I also have another, um, I've got a few other mods enabled. We still have the cut through every one mod, so we'll be able to hit multiple people at once. Um, but, I mean, other than that, we're really just, uh, just to show you kind of how, wait, let's, just, let's just show you how strong we are to start off. So we're just going to fight some looters, right? It's just some normal looters, right? Just just some little looter boys. Yeah, I hit the toy. I'm going to, hold on. Okay. I want to get, I want to have a, I want to get rid of the thing. So as you can tell, we move really fast. We just start hauling. And we'll actually be able to, I think, back up fast enough. We do have a shield, and what we're going for, we're not going for any range this time around. I don't know what just happened to all my health. Um, let's see. As you can tell, 316 with one hit. So we are a very formidable foe. Us alone can pretty much clear an entire battlefield. Again, emphasis of the God King part. But we won't be able to always do that. I can't heal myself. I can't become invincible, despite the fact that there are shortcuts with the keys to heal myself with the mods I have on. Um, I am keeping cheats on just for probably the first, this episode and the next, just to kind of make sure I'm not forgetting anything. So I did have to use cheats to set up some of this stuff, um, in the console command. So we're going to leave it on. We'll see it really only affect the inventory screen, which we won't really be touching until they're off. Um, because I do need to get my companions their own gear. But as you can tell, I went with the custom. I also got some, uh, uh, a fun little head, uh, I guess head armor mod, which it gives us this brand new crown-plated visored helm. It, 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 to me, it looks a lot better than the Imperial Golden-like helm, and it just it seems more kingly. I went with a whole lot of gold, as you can tell. I love the gold. It makes it just signifies just like purity, just like absolute, just just Chad, I guess is the best way to put it. Without his helmet on, he looks like this. You know, he's got his little faceplate on. He's, you know, he's, got some, he's got some stuff going on there. But is there a story for my character? I thought of a little one, and I, I guess I'll tell it as we're making our way. Oh, I guess never, we're going to fight again. Never mind. So, I'll, I'll tell it once we're finished with a little battle. I'm going to use my uh, wonderful little the bill hook here. This seems... I don't know where we are. I don't know what map we're on. Yeah, we have a bill hook here, which I missed. I think they hit my horse, actually. I thought I would hit that. But yeah, we're just going to absolutely slaughter these guys. I mean, they're throwing rocks at me. Oh, come on. Just No, don't block it. Just die. Just die. 
So one thing that I also did do is, as you may see, even though I have a lot of very good armor on, I'm not still taking that much damage, which I do have a reason for, and I've messed around with the campaign settings. I didn't mean to press space there. I also have, hopefully we can check here in just a second, we're not going to take any of their stuff, but we'll take that stuff with us. But we can check the campaign options. I pretty much have everything to the max. The only reason I don't have recruitment difficulty on is because I'm a god king. People are going to want to fight for me, so I feel like it'd be easy. I, I don't like how slow moving on the map is, so I have that on the very easiest. And I also have my damage received as uh, one third. And because I'm supposed to be some sort of godly figure here, right? I'm supposed to be like, my clan is the only one. We're going to bring priests and prosperity um, to all of Calradia. My armies. Still gonna take a whole lot of damage, but myself, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be hard to kill, and I'm gonna be swinging around, going to town on people. Now, I really don't care about what kind of troops that I'm gonna be picking up this time around. Anyone from anywhere, from any stretch of the land, can go ahead and join me. So, that's pretty much what we're dealing with. Like, I'm just, I, people are just gonna love me. I can't turn people away. If I can recruit people, I'll recruit them. My army's gonna be a mismatch of things. But one thing I really do wanna go for is I didn't get to do last in the last series is go for a whole bunch of Imperial Brucellari. So I'm gonna get a lot of war horses and a lot of archers. Because I really do wanna go with the heavy horse archer army. Because just, just the golden boys riding in on horsebacks next to their golden king, the golden god king. How could you not like that idea? How could that not look like some picture ass like shit you would see in the movies? Like, come on. You're insane if you can't agree with me. You can't tell me that's not amazing. But yeah, we got, again, a whole city to ourselves already. Well, because I gave it to myself just to start it off. And we're going to be trying to conquer that whole southwestern region to start off with. But I'm going to need some armies. I'm going to need some money. And I'm going to need some people. So we'll see how that goes. Um, one thing we do want to go ahead and do here, since we just picked up some recruits, we need food. Because we will be out of food in less than five days. But, I mean, we'll also be picking up more units, so that will probably increase. As you can tell, our trade skill is just insane. Because seven grain for... Or they have so much grain here. Well, we actually do need more horses though to increase carrying capacity because we don't have nearly enough. Now, as you can tell, my party limit is also really retarded. It's uh, I think it's at 265, and I'm pretty sure I can get that up to 300 uh, by the time I do my next level up. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, unfortunately, we kind of have to you know make our way, weave our way all the way down there to the very bottom, and um, we're just gonna stop these villages on the way. We could, you know, stop by, show, give the people a good show what a god king really looks like. I don't know why I've taken damage. I don't even know where the damage came from, but... Oh, that's right, because when I leveled myself up, it actually gives me more health, so it didn't heal me for it. That's why. So, it wasn't that I wasn't at 100% health. I was at 100% health of my old health, and with all the perks that I have, it increases my health, less making me have more, so it doesn't increase... It doesn't heal me for that amount. I mean, I think... I think so. But yeah, let's see, can we run into these looters? There's a lot of looters over here. Oh, a lot of recruits though, oh my god. The the free destination, we could just have an army of recruits if we want, of Imperial recruits. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna fight these guys. Our recruits will probably get slaughtered, but I'm gonna get on the ground with them because they, they need someone, they need a hero. Now we do have a mace in our hand, which I completely forgot I was using, uh, but I'm gonna stick with my two-hander because the two-hander just feels a lot more. And we're gonna have all of our wonderful red boys just stay near us. It's gonna follow me, boys. After me! Your god king is with you, alright? Just follow me. I know you guys are scared, alright? Your recruits going against people who are nearly, nearly advantageous to this. But that power bar on the top doesn't matter. We're gonna slaughter them. We're gonna win. So come on, boys. We gotta go. We have a job to do. Jump! The best of you will survive and be promoted. The worst of you will die. Let's see. The god king can never lose. The god king can never lose. We will break the spirits. We will break them. Fight on, boys. Fight on! Don't give up! Don't retreat! No mercy! No prisoners! We leave none of them standing! Yeah, get them, boys! Yeah! Hunt them down! Don't let them get away! See, I got most of the kills. I got 26, but they did, they did 10. That's to be expected when you have a god king fighting amongst you. A true, a true king amongst the, amongst the masses. God, it's just so it's, it's so unearthly. It seems so unfair. I can't wait to fight a proper... Get your ass back here. I want to fight a proper army. I want to fight an army of 200 by myself to see just how much the God King. All right, just to see... I didn't mean to pull out the weapon, but we're going to do that. All right, you know, those guys can get away. They're, they're, they're just they're too afraid of my godly entity. My The aura I emit is just truly terrifying. But yeah, we have... Oh my God, look at all these crazy... You know what? We're just going to go full archers. All these guys, we're not going to have infantry just yet. We're going full archers, and you know why? You know, like, we're gonna get them to Busolari as fast as frickin' possible. That is what we're 
Because once the boost will already, no, no one's going to stop us. What are they going to do? Just come, you know, just t say hi and just die? You know, I'm like, it's like we have like 20 horses, 20 horse archers, Goldie boys. The only one who could ever possibly stop them is there. I am curious though to see what kind of uh, units they do have down here in these cities because obviously there would be brand new units or something, I, I assume do brand new units. I could be entirely wrong, I didn't look into the, um, the mod all that, uh, I guess all that in depth, but we will see. Uh, let's see, Lycia, do you have any units from- Ah, oh, dang it, Echios, I need to pick up units, you're screwing me over here, buddy. Ah, uh, you know what, 17 recruits, we'll make, we'll make do with it. But yeah, so we have to head all the way down here and actually pass and get into Carrington, so it's gonna take a little bit of a trip. So, there's not anything I really want to do at the moment. I'm not sure where this autopathing is taking me. <laughs> oh, there's a bridge, yeah, that's right, because so there's a bridge over here. And this little mountain, so I assume we're probably gonna like pass up through here. I'm gonna be there and walk around through there. So as, there's only really one air, way to get into this area over here, which is really interesting. So you pass down here, you'll see the city, and you, I assume you can pass by the city, or at least go that way, this way, and whatnot. So I don't know, I'm really curious to see this map and uh, what kind of units they'll have available. There's a hideout there which we could do. I'm not going to do it though. Let's stop in the city. Let's stop in the, uh, can we pass through here? We can, okay. So we don't have to pass down to the We can pass right through that little pass, that little valley. Let's see, what kind of troops? The Batanian units. So there's a whole bunch of Batanians here actually, which is interesting. Um, obviously no one's being recruited since they're uh, <laughs> all just like brand new units. But we can, we had through four villages. These uh, cities over here actually have a whole lot of villages attached to them. I mean, this one has five, this one has, oh, this one has five as well, which is, again, really insane to think about. But we need to pick up some, we need to pick up some wonderful little men. With the city, we're making about 2,000 gold a day, which is fine and fantastic, but that's not nearly enough for what we need to be. Um, we need to be making more money, and thus we need to take all these cities for ourselves down here. We do have, or we don't have our own kingdom just yet, but I think if we still take the city, we'll be fine. I might as well pick up all these units here, because why not? And also another thing is, ranged units in my army are going to be extremely inexpensive, because I have a wonderful little perk. Let's see, we have this wonderful group of looters here who we're going to go ahead and harass for some experience. So listen buddy, you got 35 units, I got, I got 27. But you know what? They got the gog him by the size, they can't fail. You know, look at this red battalions. You never thought you'd see it. Infantry! Is, oh, Move! yeah. Wonderful. Eight infantry. That whole eight infantry. But all these archers, Roman! though. You know what? Let's just have the archers Move! do the work. The infantry, they're just here to, they're just here to be little shields, you know? They're just gonna be shields. They're just, infantry! I'm just gonna hold them off right there. They'll charge, they'll get killed, they'll get slaughtered. As simple as that. I wanna watch the archers do some work. Alright, I'm gonna ride along behind them. I, I can just mention them now, dressed in the golden, the golden godly color. The color of gods, the gold, as the emperor, the fucking, the, the Warhammer 40k emperor, like TTS, the series, they just, gold makes every other color inferior. Alright, yeah, look at them go. Look at them slaughter, slaughtering, it. yeah, you get them, archers. Yeah, you guys get them. Alright, infantry, you do some work now. We're going in with the two-handed. We're going in, oh, that was so nice. Come out. Oh, God, they're running already. We don't accept no no cowards, no cowards in my lands. Any looters, anyone who runs away from a fight shall die. They shall die by the sword. They live by the sword and die by the sword. As simple as that. I have no bow. Look, I swing so fast. It's like you have no chance to block it. It is insane of how fast I swing. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that guy has a javelin in his like throw. What is? Oh, they all have like javelins in them. Did we lose anyone? We didn't even. We lost them. We took a wound. I think we'll actually take 24 experience. Why am I leveling up? Oh, I think it's because I have... Yeah, it's all my perks, that's right. So all of these archers are going into trained archers already, which is just insane. Forest. Oh wait, hold on. So the... Okay, so they do have their own custom line. Batanian female Fion. Are these female units then? Wait. These are all female units. Oh, that is so cool. You never see female units, so we can have... They're all Batanian units, but... Huh. So how do they compare forest sentries? How do those... I think those are on par... Are those on par with the Fions? Or the, uh, the Fion, the Busolari? Let's check. Okay, a little bit... So 40 lower on the writing, but the bow skills are just as good. So I think the only difference about these forest sentries is they don't have as high writing skills, which is fine. But the Batanian... Batanian female Fion, that is interesting to say. A tongue twister. Yeah, these ones have... 
actually these same skills. I feel like this isn't meant to be that case. I feel like this one's probably meant to have like higher riding skills and lower athletics because yeah, that might be a mistake. So there's not really much of a reason to go for the forest entry when you can just do this, but these reapers, oh my God, these reapers look so cool. That's so cool. Okay, you know, we're gonna put them, we're, you know, we will have some, some kind of retreat. That looks so cool. These units actually look amazing. I wonder what the other factions look like. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't checked any of the new units before I started up this wonderful little series. So, I mean, this is just as much of a new experience for me as it is for you. Um, one little mod also I have installed is once I do have this city uh, governed, we hopefully should be fine um, in terms of at least having these issues being handled because they're annoying to do. Um, we're losing prosperity uh, and complaints about rising prices. Uh, we have no food. I don't know why there is no food. I assume, oh, because prosperity is so high. The only way we're going to be able to fix that is with Orchard, but that's going to be a ways away. Uh, hmm. I could use my godly powers. I could. I very well could. I might do it off screen. I think what I might do before I, in between this uh, this episode and the next episode, I might just quickly uh, add some I'll add levels to all of these things, just to not do them all on camera because that's going to take a bit. I'll add levels. I want to have this city be the max, right? I want to be the the, pros the 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 sign of um, prosperity in all Calrata radio. That's going to take me time to do, so we'll do it in between episodes. It can wait. Um, I'm not going to handle any of this stuff. What I am going to do is go to the Tavern District, Marum Bracekull. He doesn't have a whole lot of skills to him, unfortunately. Uh, with no tactic skills, it doesn't make me inclined to want to pick him up, just because he's not going to be super good at leading an army. And I'm not going to be running any caravans this time around. No caravans whatsoever. Um, let's double check, though. Since there's so many villages tied to this that produce objects, we should... A lot of hardwood that I'm seeing. Uh, let's go ahead and leave. I can look out elsewhere. Heart, we have iron ore, so it'd be good to have a smithy, iron ore, and hardwood. So having iron ore and hardwood workshops would actually be really fantastic. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go and, let's see, what are we trying to do here? We're just going to talk to Iron the Carpenter. Um, a lot of carpenters here, obviously, because we have so much wood. But I am curious to see if the um, actual units change at all in the other ones. So as soon as we're done here, um, we are going to go ahead and... I don't look very godly in my civilian attire. That is kind of sad. Uh, let's see. We need to go ahead and find the... As you can tell, it's modeled after the Batanians, which makes sense given what we just saw. There's a smithy there, so we might as well go out of smithy. I think it should be more profitable um, than the... Hard of the puddle here. That's, that's disgusting. This is a back street? This is a back street? Really? It doesn't seem very back streetish. Let's see. Oh god, just the swish. Oh god, it's so good. I want to I wanna do the back street, but I'm not going to. Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing uh, Mordhau. <laughs> more how buttons. Uh, let's see. I'd like to buy this workshop. 1,500 gold, sure. Uh, and we're not going to change the... Um, we're not going to change the production, because obviously there's only two things or two commodities that are transported to the city, which is iron ore and hardwood. With that being done, we can go ahead and pick up some more units, and we might as well do that. So that workshop should help making us some money now. Um, and we already have some pretty high party... Oh, that's not, that's not our party wages. That's the party wages of... Um, of the, of the city, sorry, because we have a garrison in there. Forget about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and recruit some troops here, some more of the Batanian youth. All female warriors. Again, really cool to see. It's really weird that the men are the ones are not the ones fighting, but the females are. And maybe I, I would assume that these ones would be the same. Oh, the city's being sieged. Hold on. That's already being sieged. Who's being sieged by? We might as well pick up all these units, though. It's going to cost us money, but it gives us some pretty cool units. So they're being sieged by this faction right here, which is, is that that? The colors don't look like they match. Am I going crazy? Whose army is this? Engiard's army, I can't pronounce that. Um, Therendia's army. I don't think. Oh, you know perhaps who this is? I think this was the other, this, these are the owners of this, so they're making a last-ditch effort to try to defend the city, um, which likely won't happen, so as soon as they lose this army, they probably won't be able to get enough units to even hold off. Um, depending how well garrisoned, yeah, there's no way that's they're, they're going to get that, because as soon as their numbers drop... So you have you also have brand new units here as well, which is, again, really, really cool. Uh, okay, so these are really good. These are amazing horse rider units. Wow. Okay. I don't know if I like their... I'm not a big fan of the Sturgeon design. They don't look as cool as the Batani ones do. 
class. I like the little mm-hmm. cut in the eye there. But yeah, these would be really good to have as as horse archers. This is insane. Wow. Okay. So like, we'll pick these ones up at two. Again, that is so cool. So we'll keep the Batani ones as, a, as our horse archers. All right, well, we'll turn those into... The Batani ones will turn into just normal footmen. So then what kind of units do they have here? Because I imagine these will be different too. Let's see. Oh, no, just more Batanians. Okay, so I think we have the Sturgians and the Batanians. I don't think anything else changes, um, which again is just fine. This is so, these units are so cool. Kind of wish they were mixed mixed genders, but maybe that's, again, that's a whole possible culture thing. And I just, you know, that's neat. Um, they're still making plenty of money. It's dropping every single day, it looks like, but uh, hopefully that'll eventually change. Uh, maybe we can snag some more units away from these other cities while they're busy, like, sitting there. And I imagine once those... Maybe we could actually snag that while it's weak. That'd be pretty cool. But there's no way we have near enough units to even see a city. Uh, but if we could take it, again, that'd be massively, that'd be massive insane. So there the armies go. They're going to fight. They're going to clash. And I think that little faction who was attacking it has just been completely and utterly just uh, decimated. But yeah, we're getting any numbers up there. We're going to get 70 something units. We have eight days of food left, uh, but we need people to fight. We definitely need some people to fight. And we're not going to get much done if we can't do anything. One thing I think I will actually do now is it's maybe be a bit risky to do at the moment, but we definitely could do it. Again, oh, that's right, we are looking for, we need to find people who can lead parties. Because other than my own party, once we get other castles and cities to increase our own, we need to have other parties running around and helping us fight. Otherwise, we're going to be in some trouble. We have 14 parties we can use, but only 7 companions, so I need to find some companions who are good with tactics and have some pretty decent stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much where we're sitting at right now, so hopefully there's some people we can find here. And since we're not a kingdom, I don't know if we can be declared war on, which means we should be safe for the time being, which I'll probably keep it like that. Maybe not, who knows? Just because it might be dangerous to do otherwise. Um, oh, Tavern District. No, she's not worth it, so we're going to go ahead and probably have to turn, I actually have to literally turn around the map just to go ahead and click on this area down here. But we're gonna head down this way, and we are going to essentially, well, hopefully, well, we're gonna hope that they have a uh, have some units for us. Okay, no, maybe that is, maybe it was them who were fighting. I actually don't know now. That was the, Kuz that was the Kuzites are over here. Okay, Kuzites. That's a caravan, never mind. We could do caravans and have them run out. Actually, we, maybe I should do caravans. It seems like it might be a good idea to do caravans. I generally don't know. Uh, Hyena, nope, he's got Rogue, he's got Decent. So maybe the guy we found back at our own city uh, is at Carrington would probably be the best bet. Let's go ahead and buy some food, because we will run out pretty shortly here if we don't do anything about it. Um, and let's just see. Okay, so some delicious grain for pretty cheap. We'll buy a good amount of it, about 100. We can already, we can already easily hold it because of the amount of units we have. We have no horses, though, um, which is unfortunate. And that really won't increase until we start fighting more people and taking the horses from their defeated armies. Uh, and let's see, Milka's army. We still haven't checked against this city, so we'll head over to, I don't even know, I'm not even going to try pronouncing that. No, just kidding, I am, because it's going to be funny to try it, just to butcher it. Bendigidfraun. <laughs> what? Bendigidfraun. I, that sounds German. I don't know if that's... That probably isn't as meant to sound German to me, but then again, I have no idea where names come from in this, so eh, call me racist. Or, <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. Let us see. Valkyrie and the Agents made peace. So they are called the... I think these are the Ancients? No, these are the Ancients. I think these are the Valkyrie. I generally don't know. What are they called? Oh, they are the Valkyrie. Okay. And these guys are the Ancients then. Hello, do you have anyone worth Break Skull? Okay, he's not bad. Wasn't... He was... He was just up north in Carrington, so okay. Hmm. Okay, you know what? She isn't half bad. She doesn't have any tactic skills, but she does have scouting. I think we can go with her. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Catalyd the Black and actually pull her in. And... We're not gonna send her off into an army. We're always gonna keep our companions with us until we can get them some decent gear to send them off on their own, um, because otherwise they're just gonna get pretty much slaughtered. Uh, she's only six, six, six. I don't. Who are you? You're, you're. I don't. Uh. Ah, uh, she's she's mind controlling people. I may have just picked up a devil. I don't know. Only the devil would ask for six hundred sixty-six gold. Ragados, I don't give a shit about you. I guess, but I will have to rescue my family eventually, and there are just more people to leave my party, so... Fine, I guess we will rescue my people. Hmm. A good drink. Sorry, I need a good drink there. Let us see. 
So we can go to the hideout right here and rescue our family. Might as well, because what else are we going to do? And uh, we have Ganelon. Again, we are not a kingdom yet. Maybe it's best we stay not a kingdom before we can get declared war on and lose our wonderful city to the others. We may be the god king, but we can't defend a city against 900 invaders by ourselves. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do the main quest. We might as well free our family. Just, oh god, what are we going to do if we don't free our family? We do have the main quest, which I am not going to touch, by the way. This is not happening. Because... <laughs> I don't, you don't need, with, with cheats, you can just get the game rolling, you don't even have to do the main quest, so I might as well, hope it doesn't ruin anything. Uh, let's see, Ragados, we're going to wait until nightfall, and we're going to kill the wonderful chieftain. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to run through it myself, I don't need my guys, alright, they can, they can sit back and relax. We can take the train to archers with us if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. Um, God, those, they already look so cool. I'm a big fan of the silver, the silver and gold schemes in this, uh, in this game when it comes to the armors are some of the best, in my personal opinion, I just love them. I don't know if I picked up the skill where I can block uh, incoming arrows with the shield. Maybe I should... I should probably get the shield out. Just because... Oh my... Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. You know, fuck it. We're just gonna charge everyone in. They can, they can do it. They can, they can slaughter them. I want the arch to get some skills. I gotta get... I gotta do... They gotta do my job, you know? Don't even pick it up. Just... I'm gonna crush your skull. I'm gonna give a little crunch, you know? Don't do it! Don't do it! Why did I put my shield away? Get the shield back out. I move so fast they can't even hit me. I move that fast. Hey, you guys can get them, right? Get them, boys. But I don't know why the archers aren't... I forget that the archers don't pull up the bows in this. I always forget that. I have to tell them to fire at will else they just don't do anything. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, you did it. Now I gotta... Oh, oh it's so good. Oh, you can just feel... You can just... You can't hear it. But you can just feel like the skull getting completely just stripped. Oh. oh, I'm covered in his blood. His blood splattered onto the back of my helmet somehow. I'm just that good. All right, buddy. Look, I, I slaughtered your men, and I'll slaughter you too. You know what? Just to get my men some experience, I'm not gonna duel you. You know? I refuse to duel you. Look at these archers back here. They're just ready to shoot you. I don't do. I don't do. Boom. Ba. Ba da boom. boom. Hold on. Okay, guys. Guys, don't... Wait. Who shot me? Why'd you guys shoot me? To... Wait, no, where did that... He didn't have a bow. How did I get shot? Did one of my own guys shoot me? Hold on. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Alright, there you go, Ragados. You can have some fun with that. We can take these guys prisoners, but I don't want to. We are going to turn these Sturgeon Harpooners into some wonderful sharpshooters, because, again, absolutely cool-looking units. Um, and they're really good horse archer units, so we might as well get these wonderful archers up to that. But we're going to keep these Batanian youth as some wonderful melee units, because again, they just look so good with their color scheme. I love them so much. Right, I'm going to take all this wonderful loot and just go on from there. Hey, Nathanos, hey, good to see you, bro. Listen, I got to go. Take the kids. I'll be, uh, I'll be back. Um, goodbye, Ragados. I hope I never see your face. And let's see. Let us see what we can do. We can almost before the next, uh the next workshop, so we'll wait around just a bit longer to do that. Uh, Light of Dugal, I could help you. I actually believe that since I'm having... I imagine that this is being affected by, yeah, bound village issues. Um, goods from market. So am I naturally... Oh, I'm naturally, yeah, okay, in the positive. So I need to fix some bound village issues. I don't know if I want to. Uh, train troops for Light of Dugal, don't think I'm going to do that. You need seed grain, don't have the grain for you. I could always go run and just buy it for you, but um, I just need some troops, you know? I'll take these troops. Forest Mating Custodian, again, really cool units. I love the fact that they're just like all female units. I'm not sure what the story is about them. They didn't read up a whole lot, and I should have. I feel bad for now the um, the mod creator. Um, but again, it's just really... I just I just like it. But we're going to hang around the area just... Uh, actually, no, we have enough money now. So we're going to go ahead and buy another workshop. And I'm not sure how much our workshop is making. Only 71, really, Carrington? You even have two iron ores. So I'm confused on why that isn't working too long, or too well, but hopefully the hardwood workshop should make us some money. Goodbye, Iron the Carpenter. I have some stuff to find. Where is the oh-so-wonderful wood workshop? There it is, up the hill. Perfect. Hey, guys, you little... Some pretty cool armor you got here. Your, uh, your god king would be pretty... Um be pretty cool if you just gave me some gear. Fuck you. Alright, fine. I remember you, I'll remember your face. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta we gotta get you some gear, by the way. Cat catalyst. 
All right, we can't afford it just yet, but we'll get you some nice gear. We'll get you some of the best gear. Are you, the, are you guys a workshop worker, huh? This is the workshop? Yeah, I want to buy this workshop. Okay, we're not going to change the workshop. We're not going to change the workshop. We're done. Another 1,500, 15,000 gold spent, but well spent in my opinion. It is so well spent. But, I mean, it's already been 30 minutes. We haven't gotten that much of bun, but, like, certain fact that we already own a city and that we have a lot of units... It pretty much shows you how quick this is going to go. So once we do get an army, we do get enough parties, we will start conquering things. So maybe that could happen within the next two to three episodes. Who really knows? Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Unfortunately, that's where this video ends. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more in the future, you know what to do. This has been Jumpin' Quills, and I'll see you folks in the next one.